Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where refinement equals wealth. Now that we have a few of the more advanced resources, such as silver and a bit of cobalt, and we're probably going to pick up some magnesium along the way, it's time to ditch this old small basic refinery and put up a full size refinery. This way we can actually break down our new resources. As you can see, we're actually sitting on top of an asteroid with magnesium. But I don't really want to collect it yet until we have a refinery available. Otherwise, it may just waste our time. As you can see, we have about 22,000 silver, and we have collected enough resources to include cobalt to build the refinery. I think we have enough. It does take quite a bit of resources to build the refinery. It takes, I believe, 1,100 steel plates just to construct it, along with some large steel tubes and some metal grid made out of cobalt. First, I'm just going to remove all the obstructions on this side so we can make the top of it flat. A refinery only takes up about four blocks in length, so removing just these top decorative pieces should give us enough space to mount it. There, that should do it. If you just hit the G button, you should be able to scroll down and find the refinery. As long as you've already built a basic refinery, the full-size refinery becomes available. Positioning this thing is kind of important. We want to make sure that we'll still be able to put modules on the exterior of this without it interfering with anything else. It does look kind of god awful big on this thing, but it does save us a lot of time from having to build a temporary base and then build in the refinery. And it also saves you a lot of PCU blocks. And there you have it. It's not too bad to build. It kind of blends in with this ship, but the ship is gaining quite a bit of size. Once we have that, we won't need the basic assembler or basic refinery, but first we need to increase our assembly capacity. Because if we get rid of our basic assembler, we only have the survival kit left. So on this side, I'm removing just two blocks to build a full-size assembler. Full-size assemblers only require two block spaces, so it doesn't take up that much space. For this, I go through the progression window, and there's our assembler. Again, on the assembler, the same way, I'm going to expose one module side. Unless I put it vertical, you can't actually expose two module sides, but one module side should be fine for this. We'll build a more efficient one when we get to the next location that we want to be at. Again, we couldn't have built this refinery or the assembler without collecting cobalt first. That looks about right. And for the basic uh, refinery and assembler, I turn off Use Conveyor System. This way, as soon as we create the conveyor tubes, it doesn't automatically start feeding back into the basic assembler or the basic refiner. And for these other components that are in the basic assembler and basic refiner, I'm just going to go ahead and put them in a small cargo container for now. You don't want to destroy either one of them without moving all the resources first, because if you do, you'll end up with a problem where they're just floating off in space. Nobody really wants that issue. I think that's about it from those. 
The survival kit can just keep the stuff in there. It doesn't really matter. So let's tear down this basic assembler first. And the basic refiner also, since we have enough space on our personal inventory. From here, you can see we have a direct connection point, what we had the basic refiner on. So I'm just going to put a conveyor block here. And then I'm going to use tubes instead of using conveyor blocks the entire time. Conveyor blocks use slightly more material and they look a little bit more rugged and not as sleek compared to the tubes. The choice is really up to you though. Grab a T fitting just in case and a straight conveyor tube. I'm putting a 90 degree first connected from the assembler to the conveyor block and then again on the top another 90 and then one more 90 before I finish anything I try to give it a look-see maybe there's a more efficient way of doing this yeah I don't really want to stick it up that high, especially if we have room on the side. So I'm going to take this down and actually rotate the refinery. It's a little bit extra work, but with the refinery rotated, we can put those tubes on the side instead of on top of the ship. Let's see, how do we need to put this? I think just, well, we want that one port on top, so we're going to have to flip this around. Kind of finicky sometimes. That looks about right. Just got to weld this up here. This does take quite a while to weld when you're first building it. Okay, then we're going to do a straight conveyor tube, then a 90, then a straight, then another 90. I think this makes it look a bit more sleek, and there's less things protruding outward. It basically matches the design of the ship better. And if all the lights are green, then you are good to go. Now, if we look in here, the refinery should already be refining our silver. And it is. And it looks like everything else is distributed equally. It's still in the small cargo container. And now all the other building components are in the assembler instead of in the small cargo container. I think it looks all right. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you share your tips and tricks in the comment section. I appreciate it.